Did I make it to the toilet? No. That light. And that is the end of the random video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoy our, you know, random weird shit that we do here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very tired. We will do this as a blooper. Anyway. Greetings and salutations, my name is Orkalt, and welcome to my sanctuary. To those of you new here, you're very, very welcome. I hope you stick around, subscribe, like my videos, and talk to me down below in the comments. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for all your support so far. So today, what we'll be doing is a quite random kind of collective haul. I just have some random items that I can't really fit into any kind of video apart from the fact that it's definitely not thrifting but it's just walking around some mainstream and non-mainstream shops just getting things that we like and we walked into a, a shop called Arsenal which we wanted to visit for quite some time Rock Arsenal actually to be precise it's the oldest rock sort of store like for clothes and things like that in Moscow. It's been open since the early 90s and mainly it also specializes in like clothes for bikers but it also has really cool stuff like for the home, it has a lot of nemesis, it has a lot of clothing that remains like they've sold out of most items now and they just get a lot of like band shirts and things like that but you can still find a few really cool branded items that are just sort of remaining there from, you know, some godforsaken collection from God knows what year. So we picked up one of those, but first I want to show you a homeware thing that we've picked up, and it's this, this thing here, which is the, 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 I think it's quite a large, it's called a Euro size, but I think it's like more of a king, which I think what our bed is. And it's this really, really cool alternative kind of bedding, uh, or Manchester, as you call it in some countries, or whatever. And you can see, like, there's a skeleton and some candles, and it's all very gothy, and the pillowcases are full of skulls, which is freaking amazing. Now, I'm not quite sure what this brand is, but it has a really cool back as well. It says it's Aurora Textiles, and it has this really cool lady there. I have no idea where it's made, actually. Oh, holy crap. It's actually made in Russia, would you believe? In Ivanova, of all places. Ivanova is used to be called the City of Brides because it was a very, very big city for textiles and a lot of ladies worked in the factories there. They've, I think, severely cut down on production, but there's still a lot of textile production happening and I had no idea they make cool stuff like this. I'm absolutely amazed. I thought this was more like Anne Stokes from somewhere, but no. And they have a website. God, we should really check this out. I have no idea what the materials on this is though, so I need to, probably if you open it, it's there somewhere. So yeah, we'll have to check it out. But I know it says Maka Satin. Some satin, like mm -hmm. probably mock satin, mock satin or fake satin or whatever, but it's supposedly quite pleasant. Hopefully, it doesn't electrify everything because we really hate static. We have so much static, it literally zaps us all day. And sometimes you sit, especially this freaking sofa, you sit on the sofa, then you go hit a light switch, and then it zaps you. And sometimes it's actually really painful, anyway. So, that is that one. Then we got a few things for the man as well. Yes, that does happen. Okay, that does happen. It's not all about me. So we got this super cool shirt. So straight off the bat, it says EMP. So EMP is, I think, a brand in the UK that does like leather jackets and things like that. So I assume this would be a collab, but those of you in the UK potentially watching, please correct me if I'm wrong. But you can also see that it says there, 
Alchemy Gothic. And you can see these really cool little designs of little dragons or skeletal dragons or whatever the hell they are in purple just there. And it is kind of the material of it is kind of denim. And the coolest part is, ah, and also it has, look, it actually has a functional pocket on the sleeve there, which you, I don't think, ever really need. But look at the back of this thing. Massive skeletal dragons here as well. And again, you have the alchemy sort of branding there. Now, how cool is this? This is some godforsaken collection and we were just amazed we found something like that and it actually fit as well so very very pleased it is a bit thick but the man never actually likes long sleeve things even if it's winter so if you want something thicker because it's probably a bit too thick for summer and that but since we have win winters for like six months here uh, this will definitely get some use out of it and it's not just you know as casual as a t-shirt so that's really nice and we're back to me of course so ah actually no we're not back to me no we're not because we did also get him socks but they're all in the wash at the moment which is slayer socks and lid zeppelin socks and both are super cute and i really really like them and they have like heaps of band socks and shirts but i think we just have so many shirts and nothing happens to the shirts even if you get a hole in the shirt it just adds to the you know the shirt itself like to have a hole in your metal shirt especially if it's worn with time is you know just adding to its coolness whereas socks with holes on them you just tend to throw out these days because they're not made of materials you can actually mend so we always need more socks so i'm much more happy if i manage to find band socks these days than band shirts so you know bands take this into account when doing merch socks socks are very important now we're definitely back to me so we, <laughs> we went to the small and we've done everything we needed to do in the mall and the man and the boys went to the car and I said I really need to go to the toilet so I went to the toilet but did I make it to the toilet? no I walked past the shop it sells weird I don't know anime kind of stuff I'm like to say I'm not a fan is to say nothing I just I don't like anime in any shape or form I just don't like it I walk right past anything with anime on it I don't like the trend of clothes like in some cases you know you don't really watch something but you like the look of it don't watch it don't like the look of it just nothing about it is attractive to me but <laughs> in this shop they had this guy here like Come on. I mean, I realize it's a total knockoff of Killstar, but I actually, for some reason, don't have a single one of the bad ones, and I completely skipped them. I don't know, I just, I'm not like a huge fan of them, really, for some reason, although I like bats. I don't know, there's something about them that I don't quite like, but it was there and it was in lilac. And look at its wings, it can totally wrap itself up like that. It was so cute. And it was there and it was actually probably cheaper than buying a new creature and shipping it and stuff. And I know it's not a creature, it doesn't actually look that's similar to them but it's so fuzzy and cute and the boys like it and it just fit into our little creature collection and yeah we just really really love it it's it's just the cutest thing ever and i never made it to the toilet and i had to wait all the way home but i grabbed this and ran to the car so there the next thing is even more random i have a very very severe obsession with corgis at this point if i see a corgi i just start going <gasps> and i love them so much they are the most i don't even like dogs i don't like dogs but corgis i don't know if it's their fluffy bum or silly 
short fat paws or the massive ears that look weird with the short paws and the big bum but something about them I just love I think they're adorable even barking corgis don't annoy me and I hate barking that's my main issue with dogs but corgis are just so adorable I don't even mind barking I think they're just absolutely the cuddliest thing in the world probably after the boys but they're just so cute and I just can't walk past the corgi without you know going all weird and we went to the supermarket and they had the section where it said if you spend I don't know 50 bucks in the supermarket which is not hard to do you can get this item for I don't know five bucks instead of 20 I mean how good of a deal is that and that is the thing you get. I was like, huh? Corgi! And it is so cute. Look how cute it is. It's just lying there with its bum. And it is just adorable and soft and cute. And I already have a soft toy corgi that's in the bedroom and I got this specifically so I can cuddle it on the sofa without having to carry that one all the way over here. Yes, I know I'm quite crazy, but I just I like them so much and we well I don't think we just we can't get a real one because it's just at this point. It's so hard It's just there's too many things going on. We can't handle a baby corgi running around peeing everywhere We need to do so many other things at the moment. We will get one eventually I don't know when the man is looking at me like what now we will when I don't know when we're retired Maybe if we ever retire, I don't know But there will be a corgi at some point and we will name it something really cool, which I haven't thought of yet But yeah, so I got that one and the last item you think that one was random This is even randomer, which is not a word but as I'm Russian, I can do a suffix on anything and pretend it's a word because it totally works in Russian, therefore it must work in English. So, this thing is really weird. We went to the kids' toy store. Well, it's not a toy store, it's like an everything store. Shoes, clothes, everything. It's just called Kids World, big chain. They have them everywhere. Most reasonably priced stuff and really cool toys, all of that, best prices ever. So we walk in and then I see this thing here. I mean, how could I not? Is this not the absolute dream of every like pastel goth out there? And I have a lot of lilac things. And I thought this was like the cutest backpack. I mean, I know it's for girls, but come on. I mean, it's it's decent size. If you go anywhere, you can totally fit in my massive wallet, the massive phone. You can put in band merch, whatever. If you're going to a gig, you can just grab it and go if you're doing something with the boys and you know, and it's not boring. Even my mother liked it. Like my mother said, oh, where'd you get that? That's really cool. And the best part is when I was buying it, I thought it was 10 bucks, but then it turned out it was like six and it was new. I was like, what? <laughs> That's just crazy. And then I had all these pens that I've been meaning to put on my black craft coffin shaped backpack, which actually has space for pins and things like that. But I never seem to get around to it. I have a lot of pins, but I always afraid to damage things and the clothes and jackets and things like that unless I get them really, really cheap. So since I got this this cheaply, I thought, what the hell, I'll just put them in. So I put all these pins in there. Some are like Beetlejuice, some are just witchy, some just have skulls. And I just have a lot of these pins and I thought, you know, it will look really cute and it does and the other day when I was taking my son to school I saw this teenage girl walking with like a beige boring backpack with boring anime they weren't even pins they were like badges they were very poorly made and I actually had this because after taking my one of the sons to school I had a recital in the other one's kindergarten and I needed to take spare shoes because otherwise it's just it gets difficult here in winter, okay? You need spare shoes for everything, or you wear horrible 
plastic things on your shoes that are, you know, your outside shoes. It's a pain in the ass. So I had this with me and I was like, ha, I have a cooler backpack than you. So there, I compete with the teenagers in school now. That is how sad I am. But I just thought this was beautiful. I thought it was just absolutely beautiful. I love the color of it. I mean, it's just so cool. It looks like, you know, you just skimmed the unicorn and stuck pins into it. Yeah, that, that's what it looks like to me. And now we're on to our headless trial. And that is all. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know which random item do you like best? Is it the corgi? Is it our friend here? Or is it my strange childlike backpack? Do talk to me down below in the comments. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a pleasant time of day. And greetings and salutations to you.